Hello, everybody. Today we're going to be talking about dictionaries. Um, dictionaries really are key valued pairs where you have two uh, linked values, and the key is the unique ID to find the data, and the value is the data really like a, a type of dictionary. Um, and in this case, the key being the word that we'd look up, and then the value being the definition being returned. So um, let's, let's go ahead and dig into this, and let me show you how to assign a dictionary. So I'm going to create a dictionary called student, and then you use curly brackets to create the, the dictionary. And then if I want to create a key, I could type in name, and then I'm going to do something simple and say John, and then I'm going to add another key called age, and then put in 25 for the age. And then also I can have um, courses, and I'm going to take uh, math, and then uh, some engineering this semester. And so we've just defined a, a dictionary called student and notice that it's got curly brackets to define it. And then I've, I've come up with a key called name, and then there's my name, and then age 25. And then each of these key value pairs are separated by a colon. And so in this case, I've got courses, which I've misspelled, so let's change that. Courses, math, and then engineering. I did forget in my list here as a um, value, the bracket, so I put that into place now. So I've removed all the er errors, and now if I print student, we can see the output. And we can show that we have a dictionary, name, John, uh, age 25, courses, math, and engineering. Now, notice also that I had for each of my uh, keys, I had different uh, variable types. So I had a string name, I had age, courses, those are all, all strings. And then for the values, I had uh, a string of the John, and but I had an integer for the value here, and then I had a list. So you can combine different types of uh, values uh, for both the keys and uh, keys and values. So let's go ahead and print out uh, student and then um, return the name and I can put that into my uh, code and run that. We can see that I returned John. Now if I change this to name to one, I could also, as an integer, I could also call um, the key for one, for the key one for the dictionary student and return that. We can see I've got a John returned as well. Let's change that back to name and then we'll start up um, the rest of our examples here. So, so notice that if I wanted to return courses, it's going to return the, the list. So math and engineering is being returned. So um, if I wanted to try to access a key that's not in the dictionary, let's say if we had the phone, phone number, put that in there. So phone is not a key within our dictionary and we run that, we can see that, oh, we've got a key or a phone. So that's how you create a dictionary and then how you can access the key value pairs. Uh, unlike a list, we're not doing slicing here, we're using the key to access the information or the values that are associated with that key. It's an important point that the keys need to be immutable, not mutable um, objects like a list or a dictionary themselves. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about that in a, more in a bit, and I talked about mutable versus immutable in the list uh, video as well. So let's continue on here, and let's say if we wanted to uh, add an element to the dictionary at a key value pair. So I could say student, and let's let's go ahead and assign the phone value student phone equal five 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 five. Okay, so now we've created a. a key value pair that's going to be added to, to the dictionary. And let's just show the output this way. Show that. Now we see that we have phone. The phone number has been added to the dictionary itself. Okay, so um, if we wanted to, to remove uh, a value from the dictionary, there's a couple of ways, several different ways to do that too. So if I wanted to uh, delete phone I could use the delete keyword and then say student and then phone. And 
then now we're back to the original original dictionary. And so we added the phone number here and then we deleted it on the next line. So um, some other attributes and other ways to work with dictionaries. So if we wanted to print the student keys, we could, we could add in the keys method and show that. And let's make this a little bit simpler and let's remove that right there. And then at the output, we can see we have name, age, and courses since I deleted the phone. And then the same thing if we wanted to show the values. So we can use a values method and then output the values themselves. There's also a method called items. And we go ahead and do that. You can see it lists all the dictionary items, the name, um, key with the value, John, and so forth. So those are combined together. And notice that they're in, uh, they're in um, tuples. So uh, some other things that you can do here, let's go ahead and uh, do a couple other operations. So what's the length of student? And I'll put that. It's got three items. And then if we wanted to iterate, and we haven't covered for loops yet, but I'll go ahead and show you and introduce you to uh, for loops in Python. We basically have created a for loop. You see that we've got a keyword for, and then in, we've covered the use of in. It returns a, a Boolean, a true or false. So we're asking for the key in student, and then we're going to print the key. Let's do that. And we can go ahead and run that, and we can see that we've got the length of student is three, and then name, age, courses. Now, this uh, key can be can be k, can be any variable that we want it to be. But uh, the important thing here is that dictionary is it's called iterable, and we're iterating over the dictionary student, and it's returning the key. So if I wanted to actually return the keys and the values, I could print uh, run the for loop over k and v and then print out both both the key and the value. Oop, I needed to actually add in what's called something called enumerate. And then it will return both the key and value pairs. So we can see that that's a nice uh, function to be able to return both the key and value pairs and then uh, be able to print that out. Okay, so um, you can, in addition, you can also use just return items. So here is another method to be able to, to return the, the do it this way, student.items and it's applied to, the method of items is applied to the student dictionary and we can return those as well. So that, that's, um, a kind of introduction on how to manipulate and uh, iterate over a dictionary. If you just wanted to return the last value of uh, or value and delete it, you can you can you can use the pop method. And the pop method is uh, we've covered this in list, so it returns the value as well as deletes it. So let's do this. So let's say print student. And we apply the pop method, and we provide the key and name, and print that out, and it'll return John. But then, if we print it out, let's go ahead and print print student here, and we'll see that it no longer has the key value pair for John. So we the pop actually deletes the key value pair, returns it, and deletes it. So those are some standard kind of operations that are applied to dictionaries. Now, let's return to this concept of uh, mutable versus immutable. And so if I wanted to create a copy of student, how would we do that? Um, we could say d2 equal student. And then um, is that going to be a copy or is it just going to be pointing to d2 going to be another name for student? So in Python, what happens is you create uh, an object for student and then we assign d2 to student it actually points to the same object and let me show that to you by using something called the id so if we said id 
of D2, and then I print the ID for student, we'll see that, that both student and ID have exactly the same object ID. So if I change um, student and let's change the name now to equal something simple like Sue and then run this we've have the same object and then I can print out uh, d2 name and then I'll print out have it undo and then let's print um, Print student. Oh, let's print. Let's print. Make it real simple and print D two, as well as print student. All right. Forgive my typing errors. We'll get through this real quick. So now we'll see that both of these have actually the name. Uh, value has been updated with Sue in both of them. So we're not creating a copy of, of student when we assign it to D2 because it's the same object. So um, dictionaries are, are mutable as well as lists. They have a similar type of properties. So what we need to do is to create a copy as we can say D2 equal dictionary student. So if we do this and now we say uh, student name is equal to Steve and uh, let's make this simple we'll, we'll delete all this so now I make it real clear d2 is a copy using a dictionary uh, function and then we'll change in the student dictionary the value to associated with the name key and now uh, we will just print student out and then we'll print d2 and we'll see that the values are different so for we changed in student we changed the value to, to, to steve and then printed out d2 and it has the original which was the copy and d2 so that's the idea that um really in, in python you're, you're working with objects and you associate or in this case assign d2 the dictionary this creates a copy where if you just did d2 equals to students it copies the object and if you update a key value pair within students it's updated in d2 so you need to be aware of that if you're going to be able to create copies of your dictionaries okay another important concept to cover is really kind of these dictionaries can become uh, kind of complex and I've gone over to my snippets code here and I'm going to copy over a nested dictionary in a list and then we're going to access a key value pair from this guy. So let's just go ahead and make this simpler. So this is a nested dictionary list. Notice that I've got x is equal to a square brackets here and then inside, inside of that I've got of my list. So x is a list. I've got a, b, and then I have a dictionary and some variables foo, bar, john, mike, kristen, mary, and so forth. So if we wanted to access the variable uh, or the value 80 inside of this complex list, how would we do that? So let's say print x and then we want to get really its index number 0, 1, 2 and then I want to access the key value of bar and then I want to access inside of the dictionary bar I want to access the value 80, which is John. So let's go ahead and see how this works. I think I've got every, all the right brackets and parentheses, and we should output an 80. So there's the 80. So you can nest dictionaries within dictionaries within a list. Now, uh, if I just want to return values, so once again, this is a this is a, a list, so I could print out just the index number of 1 and that's going to print out B for us. There we go, B. 
So um, just to show as an example how you could nest dictionaries within a list and then access the values that are associated with the keys uh, inside of that uh, list.